What's up guys, welcome to the Nation of Expert Gaming videos. Today we have got for you another free transfers. So, we're going to kick it off. Um, we have got, today we have got Jeco. We have got, uh, is it, I want to say De Mayo. He is the striker for, Braz uh, one of the Brazilian strikers in the Brazilian league. And also we have... Uh, Fellaini. So we are going to kick things off with Fellaini. So the 25 year old plays for Everton currently in the centre mid role. He kind of plays everywhere in the centre mid and to be honest he is a bit of a demon wherever he goes in that midfield. He is re well really tall. Um, I'm just looking quickly at his kind of like how tall he is but it says at 1 meter 94. I'm pretty sure he's over 6 foot so um, you can tell he is really small but uh, really really small really tall. But um, yeah, he's very skinny as well. Uh, I would say he'd be one of the ones that kind of is not got the best of strength, but kind of can use his weight as an advantage. He may not have the most muscle on him, but with his kind of uh, height, it kind of helps his strength anyway. But if you get someone like Hulk or someone who's like, well, Akin Fenmore or someone like that, who's like 5 for 8 and is ripped to shreds, he is going to literally destroy Fellaini. Akin Fenmore is just such a tank. I absolutely love him. So... Uh, anyway, getting on to Fellaini, he's looking at a few clubs, and we're going to go into the first club. So the first club who are looking at this friendly giant is Arsenal. So I was really surprised at this. They already have his kind of like his old teammate, uh, Mikel Arteta, and uh, he was a great buy for them. I think if they got Fellaini as well, it would be a really, really solid midfield. You've got Cazorla, uh, Arteta, Wilshire, Fellaini. That would be a pretty nice centre uh, centre mid kind of midfield role there. It would be kind of like hard to keep them all on. I think um, Ca uh, Carzola or Carzola plays kind of a bit of a wing. I'm I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure I was talking to an Arsenal fan, and uh, they said that they could put him on left wing or right wing or something like that. But then again, that would kind of affect uh, Walcott. Ox, all them lot as well, so um, we'll have to see how they go. So the next team going for Fellaini is Manchester United, and as I say in pretty much most centre mid pr uh, potential transfers, Manchester United are going after everyone, let's face that, they've got potential with quite a lot. Fellaini was one of the bigger potentials that I thought they'd go with, as they do have his, uh, his former manager David Moyes now, um, we didn't know if he, if he was going to kind of follow in his, in his manager's footsteps and come to United. Or if he'll drift the other way and go to Arsenal, or maybe go to this last team. So Fellaini's got a few options if he does want to leave. That is, and uh, they're they're definitely bigger teams than Everton in place wise, um, in position in the league. But let, let's say um, if he comes to, say if he goes to Arsenal, is he going to flop and just not be as good as Wilshere and Arteta and Cazorla, or is he going to exceed his limits and get better? Or will he better? Would he benefit better from staying at Everton and kind of keeping that high midfield role there? We'd have to wait and see. But Manchester United have they have interested in an offer of about 23 million, but nothing really went with there. It's been rumoured for quite a while now for Manu, and uh, really I don't think it's really going to go anywhere to be honest. So the final team looking at Fellaini is Chelsea. So the only team that's missing here is Man City, and you've got pretty much the top four spots. But um, yeah, Chelsea are looking at him. I cannot see where this could go anywhere with potential wise as they have a solid solid midfield but do they really need to bring in Fellaini? I know Chelsea have been kind of rumoured with a lot of people, they've been looking at their options and to be honest they've pretty much just been kind of like rumoured with everyone and the problem with the rumours is 100% of them may not be true, a few of them may be just kind of like they've had a little talk but not actually anything serious and some of it might be just completely made up so you can't really get anywhere. I personally can't see where they'd go with Chelsea, but um, I guess it is a rumoured and it is a big squad, so a uh, big big team, sorry, so you, you have to put it in there. So the next player we've got going on is, I want to say De Mayo, but, um, or De Damio, <laughs> I really don't know, so please don't judge me on that pronunciation, that's pretty terrible. But he is the uh, Brazilian striker for uh, Sport Club, it's got here. Um, in, into something for the Brazilian league. Um, I'm not too sure about what what that is. Um, I know it is in the Brazilian league, and I know a few good players that are Brazilian do go to that squad. So it's got to be a decent squad. Um, he is 23 years old, so really good for um, this team to <coughs> this team to kind of pick him up. So uh, yeah, he's looking at a good star, and they make him. So the first team, well, pretty much the only team that are kind of hinting to get him is Tottenham Hotspur. So they are looking at about 11 million bid. For him, I've got Rick down here. 
no bid actually, but I believe I saw on um, a website kind of like recently that they have been hinting at about 11 million bid for him. So if they get him for that, is it a good buy? We'll soon see. He's going to have to kind of go in there and uh, outplace Defoe and Adebayor who are kind of, Defoe's looking a bit shaky to move or not. So um, if he moves, he'll fill his spot quite happily and uh, that'll, be, that'll be it. That'll be uh, DeMeo and the team. So um, I think it could be a good buy for them. He's a Brazilian player. They're always really good. Well, not always, but they are normally quite good footballers, and they do have a lot of kind of potential. If you look at Neymar, Ronaldinho, um, even you go for like someone like Joe, who's an average player, um, better than some English players, but you never know where it could go, to be honest. And finally, we have got Jeco, the Manchester City striker, who has not really played an absolute load of games for Man City this season. But has had a few games going on. He's kind of been in there, but not as much as, say, like Tevez and Aguero. But what do you expect when you've got to come up against Teve Tevez and Aguero? You're going to be ended up on the bench, so you don't know. I think moving would be a very good move for him, um, as he is 27, so he's probably not got a lot of years left where teams are going to be majorly interested in him. As he is kind of only an average player, um, I'd say he's a very good player, but when it comes to like Tevez and Aguero, Wayne Rooney, uh, Ibrahimovic, He's not going to be the best striker in the world, and that's just kind of like facts there. Um, even if you're a Man City supporter, you probably can put your hands up and say he is not the best striker in the world, if anything. But he is interested from three clubs that we're going to do, so we'll go for the first one right now. And the first squad is Napoli. So currently, none of these teams have given in a bid um, or any sort of offer yet, but they have shown interest in him. Um, Napoli losing Cavani, so they have been linked with a few strikers. Um, depending on which one they get, we'll have to wait and see. But um, they, they definitely have been kind of linked with other strikers in the kind of different leagues. Um, I'm pretty sure I did one yesterday on... I'm just trying to think who I did it on. There was a striker, someone who I did, and uh, Napoli was kind of like linked there as well. The next team that are kind of interested in him are Forentina. So again, in the Serie A league, and uh, a very good team as well. I believe they are losing um, Jovetic, that's it. Jovetic and he is going to a different team or is linked to quite heavily actually more than Dzeko's leave um, He is a lot heavier linked to like Arsenal So um, if he does leave in the end they're going to need a replacement striker as well And Dzeko would fit in nicely there for them So over the next coming weeks we're going to have to keep track of this and see if uh, Dzeko is the man for the job And our final team that are interested in Dzeko is a Borussia Dortmund Now Borussia Dortmund are pretty much losing Lewandowski and they have lost guts the two Bayern Munich so they need a new kind of like center mid role and a striker role so they're looking at a few uh, center mids and being kind of potentially uh, potential potentially what's that sort of word they've been quite um, got quite a few potential transfers in strikers and center mids so they're going to be looking at teams and uh, different strikers that are not very happy and trying to pick them up um, so we can we can only assume that all these three are looking for strikers and if they choose Jeko he will probably end up going to them. So there you go. There is the video for today. Hopefully you did enjoy it. And uh, hopefully you'll come back for more. I believe I'll have another video out. If not, I'll see you again tomorrow. But highly rec I highly um, doubt that I won't have another video, up, uh, video out unless I get eaten by a bear. If I do get eaten by a bear, then I'll see you all again. Never. Bye-bye.